In this video, I want to show you how to program this log. This is the QuickSet Powerball 250, okay? So the first thing we want to do is to reset the log. This is going to remove all the existing code, so you can now reprogram it and add new codes, okay? So to reset this log, the first step is to go to the interior assembly, okay? Right here. And what you want to do now is to remove the battery cover. Here's a battery cover right here. Slide the cover up and remove it, okay? So the next step is to press and hold the program button for 15 seconds, okay? So here's the program button right here. Press and hold it. Keep holding. Okay, once you hear that long beep release it, now press it once more. Okay, there you go, the reset is complete and now the lock is back to factory defaults, okay? So the next thing we want to do is to run the door handing detection. Whenever you reset this lock, the first thing you want to do is to run the door handing detection. This is going to teach the lock the orientation of your door to know if the door is a right or left handed door, okay? So make sure you don't skip the step because your lock might not work properly if you don't run the door handing, okay? So to run the door handing, the first step is to press the program button once. Now go to the keypad. Okay, now you want to press zero and hit the quick set button. Okay, so you can see the bolt has extended and retracted to lend the orientation of the door. Okay, so the door handing process is complete. So the next thing we want to do is to add user codes. A user code for this lock is a 4 to 8 digit code that can be used to unlock your door from the outside. And this lock allows you to add up to 25 user codes and you can share them with anyone you want to give access to your home. Okay, so to add the user code, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button once. Okay, now you want to press 1 and hit quick set. Okay, now enter your new user code, 4 to 8 digits. So mine here is going to be 2233. Three, three. Hit quick set. Okay, you're going to hear a long beep and see a green flash here, meaning your code has been added. So let's test the code to see. Press this to lock. Okay, and to unlock, let's enter the new code. Okay, so there you go, the code is active. So let's add another code. The first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button once. Okay, now you want to press 1 and hit quick set. Now enter your new code, 4 to 8 digits. So my second code here is going to be 1122. Two. Hit quick set. Okay, you're going to hear a long beep and see a green flash here, meaning your new code has been added. So let's test it again. Hit this button to lock and to unlock let's enter the new code okay so you can see that's how it works you can repeat the steps to add more user codes up to 25 user codes okay and if you want to delete a user code you added the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button once okay now you want to press 2 and hit quick set now enter the code you want to remove. So let's remove the code we just added. One, one, two, two. Hit quick set. Enter the code again. Hit this button. Okay, you're going to hear a long beep and see a green flash here, meaning the code has been removed. Okay, so let's test it to see if it's removed. Press this to lock. Okay, so to unlock, let's enter the code we just removed. Okay, so you can see it's not working. Let's enter an active code. Okay, so that's it. And if you want to remove all user codes at once, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button once. Okay, now you want to press 4 and hit quick set. Now press 4 again and hit quick set. Okay, you're going to hear a long beep and see a green flash here meaning all user codes have been removed from this lock. So the next thing we want to do is to turn on auto lock. To do this, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button. Okay, and now you want to press 9. 
and hit quick set. Okay, you're gonna hear a long beep and see a green flash here, meaning auto lock is now active. And now your door is gonna lock after 30 seconds, okay? So let's wait 30 seconds to see how it's gonna lock. Okay, there you go. And you can also set your own time. If you want to set your time, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button. Okay, now you want to press it and hit quick set. Okay, now enter your time. You can see it there on the screen. Okay, so select your preferred number and hit the quick set button. Okay, so that's how to set your time and if you want to cancel auto lock, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button. Okay, now you want to press 9 and hit quick set. Okay, there you go, auto lock is now cancelled. Now I want to show you how to turn off the keypad sound. If you're not okay with this sound on the keypad, you want to turn it off, okay? So to turn it off, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button. Okay, and now you want to press 5 and hit quick set. Okay, so there you go, the sound is gone, let's test it. Okay, so you can see the sound on the keypad is gone, so that's how to enable silent mode on this lock. And if you want to cancel it to bring back the keypad sound, the first step is to go to the interior assembly and press the program button. Okay, now you want to press 5 and hit quick set. Okay, so there you go, the keypad sound is back. Okay, okay so that's how to turn off the keypad sound and also turn it back on. Okay. And with this we've come to the end of this programming video, okay? So that's it, I hope this video was helpful and if so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.